I mean, the people want to know. The people need to know what happened to the peaches, sweetie. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. My name is Brandy, if you are new, and I call this law of my trans life because literally that's what it is. Thank you if you are new and if you are coming back, girl, you already know, I love you. Thank you guys so much for your support. This week, we're getting into some feng shui-ish situations. Lucy Mae is out at the groomer. Um, she's getting her touch up of her haircut or her like follow up, whatever that is. And then Summer Pearl's next. I have time in between, so I decided to like move some things around. I wanted to make sure I had space in my apartment to work, to really actually sit comfortably and focus on editing when it's time to get the vlogs done. Girl, don't even mind the hair. I washed it late last night, loaded it in conditioner, and just twisted it up. So it's a wreck, but y'all already know how it goes. This week it's going to be nice and hydrated and and cute there is a heat wave on the rise again honey trust me if you've been watching the last couple of vlogs and you already know that the weather is super bipolar because the other day I was talking about it cooling off the other day I was talking about it being so hot now it's this now it's that now it's back to a heat wave so we're just moving with it and people wonder why we're bipolar I mean literally our environment is bipolar our environment our environment is like we don't know what to expect and naturally as humans, I think we just adjust and adapt to our environment, right? Like, so when people say like, oh my God, you were so happy yesterday. Oh, your mood, your mood, your mood, it's your hormones, it's this, it's that. No girl, no, 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 no. Stop pointing the finger at people, judging people and look at the environment that we live in. Look at the environment. The environment is changing at the blink of an eye too. So it's natural that we're going to adjust and adapt to it. So anyway, don't want to get on that. Just want to keep going into the intro of this vlog. I moved my desk. Remember this, I had a mirror here. Child pull all types of things out, so it looks a mess. I moved the mirror. The mirror was here, but I moved it. I don't know where it's going to go yet. But for now, the desk is here. The desk is here, my front door is right here. I can sit right here, it's cool. And plus the plug is right there. So this is what we're gonna do for now so that I can edit. I never use my desktop to edit, right? I've been using my laptop and I realize I wanna really take time when I'm editing to focus in on work. And then I wanna make sure that I'm like, you know, making it cute, finding all the little tweaks. So I'm gonna start using my desktop. I usually just use this desktop for like emails, paying bills and things like that, like keeping my life in order. But now vlogging is my life, it has to fit into my order. So we're transferring everything over there. Plus I have more storage on there, more space. Every time I'm like ready to upload or download or whatever on my computer or my laptop, so I always have to like transfer something off to the external hard drive and then it's like do i even want that stuff on the external hard drive like these aren't memorable things that i'll need to look back on because it lives on the internet so it's just a it's just a tough anyway less complicating my life with this um and then i have time so i was figure i figured let's just go ahead and get this all done so yeah i'm gonna clean up i gotta clean up this living room they don't i wasn't vlogging at the time when i decided i had too many things that made me feel bad or too many things that were in the way they were making me feel a little claustrophobic so i really got rid of my furniture the only thing i didn't really get rid of was this couch because i paid so much money for it on poly and bark it's not worth it honestly if you've ever shopped on poly and bark before for furniture it, the aesthetic is really really cute but the quality of the furniture is trash so i will never buy from poly and bark again but um i got this couch i've had it for about three years and it's honestly not comfortable or anything like that so now the dogs just scratch it up and i don't give a shit i let them do it um and i, I don't want to really buy a new couch or new furniture because honestly in this apartment nothing fits through the door the door opens and then you have to turn immediately to come into the apartment and then in that turn doesn't allow furniture if that makes sense so if you put something in it, there's not enough space to stretch it out enough to turn it and get it in this was one of the only apartment it's like a small apartment couch i'm sure there are more but this one actually fit through the door even so it had a hard time getting through the door so i'm not going to get any other couches or anything as long as i'm in this apartment i might get a chair for over there where the 
where the this was and then and then we'll see but yeah for now i'll let the girls get their cuts i'll finish cleaning up we have a gym appointment today with a personal trainer i am so excited i found a trans woman personal trainer in brooklyn i am ecstatic i am ecstatic i'm ecstatic she's quite pricey going but i'm definitely going today this is the first meeting and we'll see what comes of it but i'm super excited about it because i want to get into the gym and i want to get fit one of the things that makes me not work out as much as i would like to is how i feel in the gym you know it like i feel so self-conscious and so out of place so just having like a trans woman as my trainer is going to help me build so much confidence in the gym i'm so 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 excited about that Lucy May, are you ready to get groomed? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready to get groomed? Let's go. Y'all look at Lucy May. Look at her haircut. She won't show you. She's being shy. She missed me. There she goes. Look at her. Got your cut, Lucy? All right, so the groomer just texted us to bring the next one down. That will be Summer Pearl. That will be Summer Pearl. Look at that girl. Say hi. You guys never see her that much because she is the older one. She's very, very stubborn. She's spoiled to death. Summer was with me first, so she has her ways. And I always say Summer represents the old me. Lucy May represents the new me, but she is not the girl to be played with she's giving she always gives honey this is my posh life whatever is for me for me for me for me for me she doesn't care about you or no one else right summer say hi to them but she's the sweetest little thing y'all look at summer pearl look at that girl summer summer so pretty. She won't show you her face. There she goes. But I figure since I had the time before I go to training, I might as well just get it done because I'm not gonna be able to wear my slides if I don't. Because what happened is my toenails grew out and I cut them and I did a sloppy job. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get them fixed. And then I couldn't do laundry this Sunday, so I'm really down to my wardrobe. Um, I'll be wearing a few dresses this week. That white one that I love so much. And we'll see, whatever I have clean. And I have to, if I have to hand wash some stuff, then I'll do that too. I'm not, I'm not above that, honey. Never am. I still haven't gotten that portable washer machine yet. I don't know why, something is holding it from me. I don't know if it's because I don't need it because it won't work. I mean, I just don't know. I, I have every intention to get it. But every time I think about it, something else, hold, something holds me back from it. And usually when this happens in my life, it's a sign. So, you know, again, I still want it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But we're making things work. So we're headed into this pedicure place. We're gonna get a pedicure and then we're actually gonna go to train with the trainer. Um, and I'll put her Instagram in here as well. So, y'all, tell me why I ended up leaving the nail salon with the same color that I started with. I told y'all I'm a creature habit. And the funny part about it is that I thought I picked red. I thought I picked red. <sighs> but. I told y'all also, I don't make a fuss of things anymore. I used to do that and it just, what does it do? It just works you up, gets you upset, ruins the person's day. I don't do that. I want, you know, when I come in contact with people every day, at every point, I want to have engagement that leaves a person thinking, wow, that person was pleasant or not, or they don't think anything of it at all. But, but I don't want to have interactions with people that have them thinking like, wow, what a, 
I'm so glad that's over with, you know. I don't want to be that. Mm -mm. I don't want to be that. I see so many people every day who are that and it's just a part of who they are because of what they saw in life or what their experiences have been and they just become those things naturally. But we have a responsibility to do self-work, you know, to do self-work, to make sure that like what we're putting out in the universe is good, how we're treating people. And I think people forget sometimes we're all human. It's all a part of a human connection. So it's especially important that we treat each other right with respect. And it's hard. I know it's hard sometimes, even when people are like, nasty to you it's really hard to be nice to them but you have to all right guys i am home i am changed it is next let's see what time it is it is now 3 50 and we are about to go to personal training with our trans trainer sirens Let me show you guys who this is because I always say I'm gonna put an Instagram and then when I'm editing, I forget. Or then when I and then when I go back, I'm like, you know what? I'll just do it next time or something like that. And I never do. I gotta get better at that. Um, but for now, so I am training with the trans fitness B-I-T-C-H. Can I say that? I think so. The trans fitness that. Um, here is her Instagram. Okay, want you guys to see, hold on, hold on. So, there we go. There's her Instagram. Want you guys to see that. And she does all fitness stuff. So, I am so excited to meet her and go to her. This is a one-on-one -on -one training. I think it's Pilates. Um, but then I'm sure we'll discuss like what my goals are and what we can be doing next and how we can build it. Because if I'm ever going to get an opportunity to be completely honest and transparent about like my body and how I feel and like what my goals are, it's now. So I am super excited for this. It's, it also just goes to show you that like, damn, trans women are really rising above everything because I cannot imagine how much courage that takes. What she does. I can't imagine. So I'm starting to feel a little stuffy, by the way. It might be the travels. I was on that Amtrak train with all those kids and people crying and stuff. So, or, or sorry, people sneezing and stuff. So I think I caught a little bug, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna power through it, honey. I'm going to power through it. No bug gonna sit me down. So we about to head out, head on to the bike, go find this fitness studio, and I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm not gonna take y'all with me. Yeah, I'm go well, I'm gonna take y'all with me, but I'm not gonna pull y'all out on the first visit. You know what I mean? But I'm sure at some point, I'll show you guys what the routine looks like. I'm looking for core strength, honey. Core strength, lower strength, all of the things. One of the things that I usually get kind of weary about, cautious about, is working out too much and getting muscular because naturally I'm already super muscular. But what am I gonna do? Like. If I get muscular, I get muscular. I mean, I don't want to, but I want to be strong. I want to be strong. So whatever that looks like, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So I'm just wearing the same bra again from Athletica. I'm wearing some different and um, I'm going to wear my, on, my black on clouds and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The girls are looking cute. Did y'all see Lucy May? Come here, Lucy. I want y'all to vlog you. Hi. Say hi, Lucy May. Show them your haircut. Look at her. All prim and proper and clean and soft. Look at her. Say hi. Oh, thank you. Their, their groomer, her name's Karina. I told you guys before, she works for Groom Groom. She brings the van in front of my apartment building and I take them down one by one and she cuts them. And at this point, she's been cutting them for about a year. She knows them, they love her, and they always come back looking so, so amazing. This was one of the appointments that we scheduled out. So as long as we keep scheduling out and there's no issue, I'm fine. Cause my girls have to get groomed and I, you know, cause it's just like 
part of having them is like taking care of them you know when they're groomed they're happier they sleep better they just you could tell that they feel better when they're groomed and um they also they also like just look better <laughs> just look better around the apartment when they're laying around when they're playing they just look so cute so and that's for me but whatever all right let's i am starting to get sick i can tell it's starting in my head i can tell yep yeah. damn well, I'll be on medication this week and kind of drowsy, so we'll get the content, but we'll do it. Vibe blowing up the jack, got the loud jumping up the pack. Everything I'm on slack. Everything I do is Got the band jumping out the bag Vibe blowing out my jack Got the loud jumping out the pack Everything I'm on slack Everything I do is Got the band jumping out the bag Another milestone, look at that Paper boy, got my paper route Till I'm six down on my back I'm an old soul like my dad My old girl still a fan Yo, girl, at the live show, so don't act like I ain't the man. I'm kicking my feet up, get frank like Aretha. I'm calm, but I'm teed up, just flip me a stack. The re-up just doubled up off of the muscle, I stuck to the task. They see me, I'm troubled, I'm bubbling up till it's stuck, and they want me to stay where I'm at. I'm good everywhere that I'm stepping, my presence is crucial. You know that this shit, I don't trend. On a big wave, I'm controlling the tides. Okay, we just parked the bike, and this place is hella far. So, a 20 minute bike park. I'm actually late, which I never am. Super cute neighborhood though, very quiet, very residential, very family, very it Shiraga but yeah, let's get some Pilates in. I am excited, nervous, I'm also just like proud, if that makes sense, and y'all probably like, or every time you do something athletic, you're talking about your proud, but it's true. I don't want to do anything athletic, to be honest with you. So I have to be proud of getting up and doing it, you know, paying for it, planning it, you know, and then showing up for it and then doing it. It just, I don't know if y'all are athletic or not, but I used to be super athletic when I was young. Yeah, when I was super young, but that's different when you're young and you're athletic, you know, you just sort of grow up being athletic, and then you have all that, all that energy, especially with the testosterone and stuff. Well, a lot has changed, girl. A lot has changed, so it doesn't come that easy. But anyway, needless to say, I'm always super proud of myself when I push, push the limits to just a little bit more in this. I feel like it's a turning point. So let's get in here, let's get it done. And I'll let you guys know how it goes after. All right guys, we just got done. Headed back to the bike. Girl, she wore me out. Pilates is not easy, honey. I don't know if I ever thought it was. Why I thought that. The good thing is that it was a one-on-one -on -one session so I got to have a lot of, I got to get a lot of the work done that I needed to get done. <laughs> Should I just go? No, you can go, oh yeah. Okay. Good morning, good morning guys. Happy Tuesday, welcome, welcome to the day. We are headed out to work. We are so late this morning, um, but taking it easy, breathing easy. We slept, I am catching a little cold, so if you guys hear that, that's what that is. I took a Sudafed, and now I had a Sudafed from the last time I had a cold, which was last year. Um, the type that you get from over the counter, the type that wake you up and really draw everything up, dry everything up in your nasal, your drainage, whatever that is. So I'm feeling a hella better already. I'm gonna stop past CVS today or Walgreens, wherever, and go to the pharmacy, because they're over the counter. Um, you have to give them your ID to get it. I don't know why, but it works. So 
a nurse practitioner told me about it years ago and every time i get sick i get those because you literally don't feel your cold until you go to sleep that's it and you can get through the day productively as long as you're like not contagious or anything go to work do your thing so i'm headed to the cvs and then to work running late i'll put a mask on at work don't you worry girl don't you worry i'm not getting nobody sick i'm a responsible human i care about people i practice what i preach i don't just tell y'all that in my vlogs and then go ahead and do the opposite no 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 i tell you what i do i tell you how i practice my life ma'am okay so we're wearing a linen set little top under here pants are just regular Pants are just regular linen pants. And then we'll put on the glasses, so very pro fresh. The skin is still looking cute. She is having a little breakout, but that's from traveling, sleeping on that, that stuff, and ooh, ooh, train, ooh. you know, the diet, all of that. It's normal. So, but Miss Sente is going to get me right one together, so that's that. I'm thinking of doing a since hey dedicated video because I love it so much show you guys all the show all the stuff that I have from it and talk through each one and then I definitely want to do a documented video of the the hyperpigmentation mask it's like I want to start a before do the steps and then take and do this video for about a month or two until I get the results and then compile it all and give it to you guys so She's thinking, she's thinking, honey. She's thinking, she's planning. Um, oh, oh, Pilates was so good yesterday. It was the first time, so we did take it easy. I am not stretched at all. My body is tight, honey. So lots more of that. I'll be going twice a month, I decided, because she's $100 a session. And I don't have $400 a month. So I'll pay $100 for, because it's a private one-on-one -on -one session. I'll pay $100 twice a month and then and then I'll do the yoga at Noor the week the two weeks in between. So it all works out cuz I have two new workout regimens. Chow. There is no reason for me to say that I'm not working out now. There's literally no excuses. Sirens. There's literally no excuses, honey. You ask and you shall receive. Honey, I heard the word, I heard God speaking to me, work out, move your body, get healthy. And I said, okay, I made it up in my heart. I made my mind up in my heart. I made my mind up in my heart. My mind wasn't quite matching my heart. So my mind was taking over my heart for some time. So in my heart, I knew I wanted to. I knew I had to work out. I knew I had to get in shape. I knew I had to do these things. But my mind was making up excuses, keeping me away from it, making me feel like I'm so busy, you know, I'm so tired and blah, 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 blah. But honey, as soon as my heart, I told, I told God, like, take it, take it. And move those thoughts out of my head. Now we're going. And let me tell you something. When she gets fit, oh, when she gets fit. Oh, the way it's about to be. Um, yeah, let's head out. Let's head to Tribeca. Hey. Well, it looks like it's a busy day in Tribeca today. Tuesday. Um, maybe it's back to work for everyone because you know, one of the things about like this neighborhood and just Manhattan in general, people go to the Hamptons on the weekend so they tend to work from home on Mondays and Fridays, so they have those long weekends, but they're back today. My goal today is to stay 100% focused. Focused, and I really wanna get things done today. So there's a few things that I wanna do, like make a dental appointment. Um, I told you guys I wasn't going back to tend, so I'm looking for a new dentist and my insurance sent the list. So I want to go through that, make a dental appointment. I want to take care of all of my outstanding work things today. 
I want to go into tomorrow with no pending, nothing pending. And I want to plan. I want to have think time. I want to sit down and write out some things that I need to do and figure out how to execute it around the vlogging. So I'll take like an hour to do that. Um, but yeah, it's hot again. Getting humid. So excited to be in. One thing about homeless people in New York, I don't care how hot it is, honey, they are wrapped in blankets. They're in four layers of clothing. And I just don't, I mean, I'm sure it's something that I don't understand, but I don't know scientifically how can they be cool. I don't know, child. I don't know what's going on, but it appears I've just walked into a swarm of belief. There's always something going on right here in front of this building. And you know, I don't even know what the building is, so. But it seems like every time I walk through there, there is always a swarm of cops. But today they are ready, honey. They have zip ties, they have helmets, they have shields. I'm like, did I come out at the wrong time? Oh, by the way, I'm headed to Whole Foods because I need to get fruit for that hydration station at work because um, there's no fruit there. So I have to go out and get it. And, but so jogged. So, and I'll show you guys when I come, I turned the corner and when I turned the corner, I just like was in it. So I was so scared <laughs> to just pull my camera out and do it. Um, but I'll do that when I get back. Oh, also there's a wall, a Dwayne Reed here. So we have to get the Sudafed. So cute. Why is this watermelon oozing? Do you see that? I'm in Whole Foods. <laughs> it's just oozing. I wanted to get one, but I'm so scared now. So we just got everything that we needed for our spa water. Um, and this should hold us over for a week or two. I'm just gonna chop everything up and freeze it. But I was wondering, I know I mentioned before that the quality of food at Whole Foods has definitely changed. Cause I remember back in the day, you would come to Whole Foods and it was like, it was high end grocery. You knew for sure that you were going to 100% have good quality food. Now it's like, no, it's like the service is low and also the quality of it is just not good. Did you guys see how, let me get out of here actually. You guys saw how that watermelon was like oozing? Like what does that mean? It was literally rotting or fermenting inside of itself, so much so that it was going to ooze out. That's crazy to me. This lighting is terrible, but that's just so crazy to me that that could even be a thing. And it's just sitting there and it's no one's job to like go around and check it. It's still there, it's still there to check it and see it oozing, so I don't know. Also, I just remembered we can't stop and get the um, Sudafed because I didn't bring my ID. It's over the counter, so you have to have your ID. I mean, it's not, it's behind the counter. So when you buy it, you literally have to give them your ID and then they check you off onto like a list or something. And I think it's like a certain amount of days that you can buy it. So I have to come back a little later, but we did get the fruit, everything's here. So these bricks have like things on them. I was wondering, you guys can see you tell me and then it just goes on and on you guys tell me what you think those are we are in Tribeca on Greenwich Street right now and yeah I mean New York City has so much history that I'm sure if you want we're on like a history but you would find so many historical moments and things just everywhere. Like even on the bricks, 
Like that was intentional thought. I wonder how long it's been there. Guys, it looks like we missed the police standoff. So I'm not sure what was happening, but this is the building that I'm talking about. I don't know what that building is, but you can see there's so many like just security and stuff always. I think I asked someone once and they were like, it's bank, some sort of like World Bank or bank or something, I don't know. But I always see like a lot of college students or people who are like just starting a career and I see old people too who've been in their cubicle forever. Um, but it's typical corporate America when you walk past this building, like they go in at a certain time, they come out for lunch a certain time, they leave a certain time, like it's mundane. Guys, it's a whole day later. Today's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, by the way. Just popping in. And if you're wondering why I sound like this, it's because my coal has definitely kicked in. So, and on top of that, it's a really fat heat wave today. So I am just here. I stopped over at CVS to get the Sudafed. This is the one that I'm talking about. You have to go to behind the counter to get that cannot get it just on the shelves you have to give your id from it for it and then they scan your id and then you get it but it works if you need to work you need to get up and go you will actually forget that you have a cold but my throat hurts today so i can feel that but this and a hot cup of tea with a slice of lemon in it it's magic okay i'll see y'all tomorrow good morning morning good morning everyone and happy thursday i'm running late so i have just a few minutes i got a cinnamon toast child i shouldn't even be eating this but i took that food fat and i'm hungry all of a sudden so i don't want to get sick hold on i don't want to get sick throughout the day so i'm just eating this if you can hear it's in full effect child it is in full effect but we're pushing through. The Sudafed is definitely a game changer. I told you guys we were wearing this dress. So no matter how I felt, we're wearing this dress. It's raining out and all. But when you're sick, when you're sick or not feeling good, it's important that you do everything to make yourself feel better. So for me, looking really pretty, feeling really feminine helps me feel better about myself. So instead of being sick and just throwing on something comfy and cozy and going out and sobbing all day, I have a reason to look up to the sky today because I look pretty. So we're headed out to work. I just wanted to check in and give you guys a good morning. Good morning, friends. Good morning, my dear, dear friends. Um, it's Thursday. We're going to have a great day and you guys are coming with me. So let's go. All right, guys, we just got off of the train. We are now in Tribeca. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm also wearing Delina as my fragrance of the day. Also, something very pretty, very soft, and makes me feel good. Um, oh, also a very demure. Delina is the demure scent. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I really don't like whenever I'm like stopped up this way. It's such, such an awful feeling, but one thing I like to tell people is when they're sad and they're like, why am I so sad? Why is this thing happening to me? As a human, we must experience, first of all, it's a privilege to have feelings and emotions and stuff. You could have been born like a fly or an ant. Maybe they have their own feelings and emotions, but I don't know. Um, but it's a privilege to have that. And as a human, you must experience all feelings. If you only experience one feeling, then that's, a, that's, a, that's something wrong. I think it's sociopath, psychopath, one or the other, I don't know, don't quote me. But we have to be sad, we have to be happy. We have to be ecstatic, we have to be all of the things, all of the things. And also we have to be healthy, we have to have colds, immune system, honey. So great, what a great day. So pretty though. And I feel gorgeous. Today's going to be a really good day. I'm sure of it because I've already made it up in my mind. I wish you could just say, I'm going to be rich. 
and the money just appears. <laughs> but I bet you for some people that has happened and that will happen for me too. I can see it. I can see myself with a big house, not really big, but you know, grand and big enough for me and two wings of it. And if I'm rich, I'll have five standard poodles. Oh, what a gorgeous situation that would be. I would have a dog nanny for them five days a week and a weekend nanny for them. And they will be so grand. They will have their own, look at the police, pulling people over. That's what they do. Um, we would have a groomer for them, like a personal groomer every week. They'll get a bath, they'll get a trim, they'll get their nails done. And they will just be so posh. And I'd have a garden. Oh, I could just see it. I can just see it. He wants that car pulled over, honey. Out of the car. Out of the car, he said. The car is giving no. Okay, I don't want to get caught up in that drama, so I'm going to keep on going, honey. He'll be okay. So one of the things, this is another thing that I'm going to tell you guys, especially people who are doing content and looking your best and going out in daytime and stuff like that. People are gonna look at you. You know, people are gonna look at you. When you have your camera out and, you and you're walking down the street, you're talking, people are going to look at you. They are. And it is not comfortable, but I've managed to break through it. Um, and especially if you look good, you know what I mean? I feel like if you put it on and you're walking and you're with your camera, they don't know who you are. They wanna know. They want to know and that's what we want that's what i want that's what you want with people you want them to see you doing your content and while you're doing it you want them to say who is that who is that girl look you see who is she where can i find you i haven't had people ask me yet but i have had people recognize me from my content a few not a lot i'm not going overboard but I'm pretty sure one of these days someone's going to say, who are you? And how am I going to answer that question? Because I am just a regular old me living my regular old life with my brain of fantasies and going after my dreams. Who am I going to say I am? Leave me a comment. Let me know. How can I tell? If someone stopped me and asked me who I am on the street, please tell me the best way to answer that. Or what would you do if it were you? I honestly think I would be so shocked, but I should probably start preparing for that question. Because one day someone's gonna ask, what am I gonna say? Am I gonna say like, I'm a YouTuber or I'm a vlogger? I mean, I'm, I don't even consider myself a YouTuber or a vlogger yet. I'm vlogging, but I haven't gotten that status yet. You know what I mean? Dues are, you have to do, but dues are old, honey. You have to pay your dues before you just slap titles onto what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? I can say I work in aesthetics. That's what I do, but I don't like telling people what I do just randomly. I actually cringe. You know when you meet people, especially in New York, like if you're if you're meeting people out there, they'll be like, what do you do? Where are you from? Where do you live? What does your parents do? Like, girl, chill out. I don't like to tell people where I live. It's such a common question. I don't want to lead with what I do because I don't want to be in a box. And girl, you asking about parents and stuff. People have all types of trauma around childhood. So. All right, guys, the day is over. It is 5.30 and I worked all day. I don't have any groceries at home. So guess what we're doing on a Thursday? Why is my dress looking lopsided? What's going on here? Okay. So on a Thursday, we're going to Trader Joe's. I think so. So I don't have any food at home tonight and I'm hungry, hungry. And plus the girls, they have to eat, so I have to cook them their meal too. You guys know I cook for them on Sunday and then I also cook for them in the middle of the week. So today is the middle of the week me meal that we have to make for them. So we need to go to Trader Joe's and also pushing ourselves outside of our comfort zone again. And we're doing things outside of our routine because we are opening our 
minds up to change and be flexible in the possibilities and all of the things I mean, um girl i look hella greasy and oily but whatever it is what it is we're still in tribeca and yeah let's go to trader joe's i should Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I just woke up. It's raining outside, so the dogs can't go out, and they are not happy. Well, you see, Lucy's not happy. I'll take her out before I go, no matter what, because she doesn't mind the rain. Some of her not so much. Got my coffee, um, and I was watching Lewis Howes talk to the founder of Whole Foods, the creator of Whole Foods, and I'm just listening to the story. of how he started Whole Foods, like on this mission to create like nutrition for people because like he had an awakening one day that we were just like being like cars almost as humans, human cars, just going to eat food for fuel versus nutrition. Great concept, great concept. But Whole Foods has gone down, sweetie, gone down. And I do remember when the, but I think I talked about this in a previous vlog. I do remember when the food quality at Whole Foods was top tier, honey. The fruit tasted like fruit. The produce, produced, darling. This stuff now, Whole Foods, honey. I had a peach the other day. I bought some peaches the other day. Matter of fact, I still have them, so I have to show you. I actually. I went and I chopped them up because I was like, what is this? Those, Miss Girl, are not peaches. Look at that. And the taste. This is not a peach. No. Get a good look. Honey, I feel so bad for people now, like kids who are growing up now because some people might not ever know what a peach tastes like. A peach, a real peach, is so indescribable. It's like the texture, the sweetness, the furry, the stringiness, that tart, that sweet, that creamy, that mm. when you get to the seed, it's, mm. it was so good. You just want to suck all of the peach off of the seed. A peach? Girl, there are people in this world who will never know what a peach tastes like, actually, because this is what they're getting as a peach. This doesn't even... This just, you can't even, this is just, 
I don't know, it's not a peach. The flavor of a peach is just so iconic, honey. Mm -mm, I feel so bad for people who are not. I, you know, my family's from the South, so in the summertime, we would get like, girl, the peaches be peaching. That, not a peach, so. Sir, your concept sounded good. And all of the things you're saying sounds amazing. But what happened to the peaches at Whole Foods? Why are the peaches not real? I'm gonna need to not understand. Why are the peach peaches not real? This was grown in a lab or something. This is not a peach. So your nutrition talk on Lewis House sounds good until I remembered that I had a peach in the refrigerator that I got from Whole Foods that was trash, that wasn't real. I mean, the people want to know. The people need to know what happened to the peaches, sweetie. Talking about it's not for, it's not about capitalism for you. Okay. What happened to the peaches, sir? We're still in Brooklyn this morning. Um, we haven't gotten on the train yet, but I forgot that this is Labor Day weekend and they do the West Indian Day Parade around here. So they have already started to gate off the streets. Child, it's gonna be crazy. I don't feel good, so I probably won't participate too much in it. But I will definitely show you guys what's going on. It might be in the last vlog because I think the parade's on Monday and the vlog goes out on Sunday or I think it's Sunday afternoon, so the vlog will be done. So if you don't see it in the end of this vlog, you'll definitely see it at the beginning of next vlog, which is, that's okay, you know. Um, we're getting on track, it feels just so good out here. It's so funny that this weather app is crazy. It'll tell you one thing you'll prepare for it and then something completely different. I left my umbrella at home and that was a mistake because the weather said it wasn't gonna rain again. But when I looked at it this morning, when I woke up, it was pouring down and it said it was gonna rain all day. So, uh, you never know. You never, never know. I feel like an old person. I'm always talking about the weather. You ever call like one of your aunts or something that's like in another state and she's like, well, the weather is beautiful today or, oh, we have terrible storms going on or the storm is coming or so forth. All right, we just got off of the train. We are now in Tribeca. Y'all know Tribeca by now, honey. If you don't know Tribeca from the vlogs, then I don't know how else to show it to you. I've shown you guys Tribeca every day. And this is the bridge from Chinatown to Tribeca. Literally a five second walk. When I was on the train, I had a thought. Hold on, it's a lot of noise. You know why that man decided to make all that noise behind me. But I had a thought that you know, it's come up a lot in my brain, but I've been trying to like, you know, I try, so one thing that I want everyone to know about me, and this is something that I'm learning about myself recently, or lately, not recently, but like in the last couple years, I process things better after, and maybe this is normal, but I used to be so impulsive with my thoughts and I would believe them, actually be passionate about them. And then when they change in my brain, I didn't take accountability for the fact that I was wrong or that wasn't the best decision or thought process that I had. So now what I do is I try to think things through as much as I can. I'm really, really slow to respond these days. Um, so important to me, like, I used to have so much pride when it came to saying like, oh, I don't know that, or let me think about that because you wanna be, you know, sharp. And it doesn't make you less sharp to think about something. I think it makes you smarter. So it's just like, I think people confuse confidence with like aggression or anger, you know? And that's because like when I was growing up, I'm sure you too, like back in the day, it was the thing to be, 
a pretty girl with a nasty attitude. Like every pretty girl had a bad attitude. It was the way to be, you know. That time has died out. It doesn't give that anymore. It's not given be a pretty girl with a nasty attitude. In fact, if you can be pretty as you want to, but if your attitude is sour, honey, you are not getting anywhere. No one wants to be around you and doors are closed, honestly. So it's good to have a good attitude, honey. People are not caught up on the looks. But some people are, I talk about this a lot. Some people don't heal. Some people don't change based on like how they grew up or what they notice. They don't, they don't do that work. So they still carry these, these thought processes over. And unfortunately, if you're a confident person, it really does trigger something in other people for whatever reason. If they're, if they're insecure, I don't know if they're insecure. I don't want to call anyone insecure, but it's the logic of it all. You're confident people will think that you're like, you know, and they approach you a certain way or they handle you a certain way, but, and they expect for you to be like aggressive in some way. And it's like, I'm confident but I'm not aggressive. You know, I'm not an aggressive person. In fact, I don't like conflict at all. And there's something about conflict that makes me very uncomfortable because the world is violent to trans people. You know, like what is conflict gonna get me? You know, I understand there's such, there's such a thing of healthy conflict, but it just depends on the setting, you know? But I don't necessarily agree. Good morning. Anyway, the moral of the story is people expect me to be aggressive and I'm not aggressive. So their approach to me is aggressive. And it bothers me because, I mean, I can't respond to aggression, you know? I don't have a desire to respond to aggression. You know what I mean? And it's funny because that's almost like backing someone in the corner. And then when they do respond, it turns into like them being the problem. I hope that makes sense. I can break that down later. Leave me a comment if that doesn't make sense. And I can definitely talk about this in another video. But that was a thought I had to. Oh, I'm so glad this cold is almost gone, y'all. It has been wearing me out. Out, 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 out. Today was pretty cool, um, you know, making the best of the days, doing what we can, keeping everything afloat. Cole is feeling a lot better and the week has come to an end. So I'm headed to the Boyle to meet Bella. This time I'm going to the Boyle in Greenwich Village. So not Brooklyn, I'm still in the city. I'm actually walking from Tribeca to Greenwich, which is about a 20 minute walk. So I figured, you know what? get me some exercise, get things back in order um, from my sickness. And that's exactly what we're doing. I don't know that I'll have too much of a Saturday night because you know, baby steps, but you guys will definitely see the boil again. And please let me know if you have gotten tired of it. For me, it's like something I really, really like, so. Child, these two old men behind me standing right there at the light. They're like, the ones like, let's go to that bar. And listen, they are way above 50. He goes, looks like a bunch of dudes, but if there's any chicks, let's go. <laughs> gagging, I'm gagging. Um, sir, where's your wife and kids? Where's your family, sir? Why are you out with your homeboy? over 50 looking for chicks i don't know that's just weird to me i know maybe i don't know i just like the way he said it just made it seem like he was like not even 21 yet and trying to get into a or just turned 21. do you know what i mean it's like a 50 something over 50. come on that's weird you creep okay maybe i shouldn't call him a creep but it was weird so I take back the vulgar, but I found that to be, I don't know, I felt a little itch on my skin. <laughs> I felt a little itch. 
but they definitely look rich so i'm sure some lucky girl is going to come up tonight okay what i was saying before my bag decided to pop um is that everyone's on dates you look around and everyone is on a date excuse me what are you doing brandy with your life you need to be going on dates um i'm going through the circle now the village i'll show you guys I actually can't just show you because, because as you guys know, everyone looks at me when I walk, so not a bad problem. So you'll have to just see what's going on around me from behind me, but it's a lot. There's a lot. I'm very hopeful that I'm going the right way. But, we'll see. And I told you guys, I don't care. I don't pull my camera out these days. It's like, it's literally the exact opposite of what was happening in the beginning. When I started vlogging, I literally felt panic doing this. But now it's all good, so. Yeah, there's a lot going on out here, but we're going where we're going. Yep, all happening. Okay guys, the music is on, but we can't. All right guys, we just finished the night. I'm in the train station. These are my flowers. Oh! We're headed home. Um, we had a good night. Bella and I had some drinks, so we stayed a little late. And yeah, I'm so happy I had a Saturday night outside. Like I told you guys I would be. Outside, outside. The train station's empty because it's late. It's like 10 o'clock and my dogs are gonna be giving girl. Where have you been all of our lives? Where have you been? Caught up in sorrow, lost in a song. But if you don't come back, come home to me, darling. Don't you know there's nobody in the fitness world to hold me tight? Don't you know it's nobody in the fitness world to kiss me right? <laughs> Old school destiny child, honey. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Nice and espresso and a mushroom trippy cup. Let's get the first sip together. Mmm. Baby, don't I tell you that a hot coffee in the morning never disappoints. Never. I was reading. Let me get those off of there. I was because it has a glare, and I don't want you guys to have a glare. So I was doing some reading this morning and like just walking the dogs. Honey, yesterday I went. So Bella and I tipped downtown Manhattan. So iconic. The thing is, we haven't like we were talking yesterday, and we haven't really been out out like. And this is the thing that I told you guys that I'm about to start doing, just like going out after work and tipping. So. First thing on my list this week, I have to find a dog walker. I have to, because in the fall on Fridays and Saturdays, like I have to go out. I have to get a drink in the city. The city is lit. There's so much going on out there and I'm just coming home every day. Like I'm married with kids. I am not. Sirens.
Honey, I am not married with kids, girl. I'm trying to be married with kids, and I'm not going to get married with kids if I sit my butt in this house while I'm living in this city. We're just talking about like the privilege and the honor of living in New York City. Not only living in New York City, but thriving in New York City. Like I'm thriving in New York. Like I'm so grateful. If I ever sound like I'm taking my life for granted, please call me out on it and know that I am so grateful for my life. Like, and, and sometimes it takes friends like Bella because I'm humble. Right? Like Bella was telling me yesterday, no, you've worked hard for your life. You've earned the life that you have. You've done it. Nobody has done it for you. He's like, you're in New York on your own merit. You're surviving on your own merit. Nobody's taking care of you. You don't have a trust fund. You don't come from rich parents. You don't have free housing. You don't have none of the stuff that people come to New York for. Uh, so my friend Bella, yeah, Bella was like, you did not, you're no one's taking care of you. You do not have free housing. You know, you are not here. You're working, you've been working all these years and your hard work has to pay off. That's the, that's the way life works. So get you a friend like Bella, I'm telling you. Make sure you have a friend. I don't have many friends, but I have friends like Bella who, when we're out just having conversation, because. We don't talk every day, but we always show each other love online and like, you know, we, we're, we're in text, we send each other positive things and then when we get a chance to get out, we will, but we're both working in New York. It takes a lot. You can't commit to friendships unless you're rich. That's the way it works. You know, but just hearing Bella tell me that like, it's just like, yeah, you're right. I have worked hard for my life and I'm grateful for it. Every bit of it. Like, I want to be very clear about that. But I also have really, really big goals. That's the thing too. And I have to I have to achieve my goals. You know, one of the things about being Capricorn is like we're very goal oriented. We're very goal driven. We're very results driven. And you know, we'll, we'll we we can really speaking for myself, sometimes I get lost in like the math of it all, you know? But nonetheless, I can see the end, honey. So, yes, girl. Yes, honey. Yes, Miss Mamas. Yes, Miss Ma'am. So, anyway, happy Sunday, guys. I love you guys so much. So much. I'm so grateful for all of your support. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Um, please know that your support for me is everything. I just... I will never go without saying thank you to my subscribers. Like, you guys are dope. What you guys do, how you guys show up, I'm like obsessed. But here's what I want you to do, because I am trying to get to 5K right now. That's my next milestone. Um, I want you to hit the thumbs up at the end of this video right now. Right now, if, you, if, you're, if you're here, I want you to hit a thumbs up. I want you to leave me a comment. And then I also want you to share this vlog with someone or any of my vlogs that you might think resonate with you. Don't forget when we get to 5K, we are doing another giveaway. So that's really fun. And yeah, I'm just really happy. Um, thank you guys for your support. And if you, oh, oh yeah. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm trying to be more active there too. And that's it, guys. We made it to the end of the vlog. I love you so, oh, 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 oh. If you are new here and you've made it this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But I thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the subscribers that keep coming back and support. Make sure that you guys are subscribed too. You can check now and turn your notifications on if they are off so that you can be notified every time that I post a video. My posting days are Sundays, honey. We worked hard and we are back to Sundays. We are back to Sundays. We are married to Sundays, dear. And yeah, yeah, that's it. The journey, the journey, the journey. I will see you guys in the next vlog.